Let's admit it, shopping for a kid's bike can be confusing. For starters, kid's bikes are sized differently than adult bikes. And also, many of the best kids' bike brands are different than adult bike brands, so you just might not be familiar with the best ones. And then there are more nuanced questions, like should you choose a kids' bike with coaster brakes or hand brakes? How much should a kids' bike weigh, and how much should you expect to spend on a child's bike? We're going to address all of those issues in this video, and I'm going to give you seven tips on how to choose the best bicycle for your child. I'm Kristen Bonkowski from rascalrides.com where we review kids' bikes and create product guides and tips and tricks to help you have more fun biking with your family. If that sounds like your jam, if you're interested in learning more about kids' bikes before making a decision, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel or visit us at rascalrides.com. Tip number one is to make sure you know how kids' bikes are sized. Kids' bikes are sized differently than adult bikes. They're sized by the size of their wheels, whereas adult bikes are usually sized by the size of their frame. So the bigger your child, the bigger the wheel size you'll want. Now they're sized in 12 inch is the smallest, 14 inch, 16 inch, occasionally 18 inch, 20 inch, 24 inch, and you can even find some youth sized 26 inch bikes. You can use this chart to get a sense of what size bike your child needs, but it's best to measure your child's height and inseam before shopping, which brings us to our second tip. Tip number two is to measure your child's inseam. A bike that fits one child at four might not fit another child until six, so you want to find the right size bike for your kiddo. The best way to do this is by measuring their inseam. We've created a whole video on how to measure your child's inseam and how to size them for the best size bike. So if you're interested in that, go check out that video. But the nitty gritty is you wanna measure your child's inseam and then compare it to the manufacturer's inseam and height recommendations. You want your child to be on the lower end of the inseam spectrum so that they still have room to grow with the bike. Tip number three is to know the best kids bike brands. There are a few kid-specific bike companies that are making kids' bikes that are heads and shoulders above other brands. We recommend picking one of the bikes from this list. If you go with one of these bikes, you really can't go wrong. For older kids, like size 24 inch wheels and above, some of the bigger bike brands like Specialized and Trek also make good kids' bikes. Um, so you can check those out for older kids, but for young kids with just learning to pedal or in smaller wheel sizes, we really recommend sticking with one of the kid-specific bike brands we've listed here. Tip number four is to buy from a bike shop. That can be either a brick and mortar bike shop in your town or an online bike shop. It can also be a brand's website. So for instance, Woom and Predello, which are two of our favorite kids bike brands, sell bikes directly to consumers from their websites. And the place you do not want to buy a kids bike is at Walmart or Target or any of the big box stores. Now you might be asking why. Well, first of all, a local bike shop or a direct to consumer brand like Woom or Prevalo are gonna offer superior customer service. They're gonna make sure that your bike is correctly assembled. They're going to provide you help when the tires are worn or whatever questions you might have. Walmart and Target and the big box stores sell cheap bikes that unfortunately quickly fall apart. They're often not assembled correctly and they're also not gonna support you with any kind of customer service when you have issues with the bike. Now, if you're worried about price, keep in mind that when you buy a more expensive bike, you're getting a bike that's gonna last longer. So it can last through multiple siblings. They can fetch a good price when you decide to sell used on Craigslist. And you can even look for some of these really good quality bikes if you're interested in buying used. You can look for them on eBay, Craigslist, on the Facebook marketplaces. There are Facebook groups designed specifically for finding the higher end kids' bikes. Tip number five is to buy a lightweight bike. 
especially for kids just learning to pedal and smaller children, weight can make an enormous difference in their enjoyment and their success on a bicycle. It's not uncommon, unfortunately, for kids' bikes to weigh up to 50% of their body weight or to weigh even more than an adult bike. So whatever you do, keep weight in mind when you're shopping. Compare the weights of different bikes you're considering and choose the lightest bike you can afford. And it'll make a huge difference in your child's enjoyment. Tip number six, check the brakes. Most kids' bikes come with coaster brakes, which is probably what you learned with as a kid. But contrary to popular belief, coaster brakes are neither the easiest nor necessarily and even the safest. Then brake. We much prefer kids' bikes with hand brakes. Coaster brakes can make it really hard to learn to pedal because kids naturally will pedal backwards and it stops them, which is challenging. Coaster brakes are also just not that intuitive to use. They can be dangerous, walk out a wheel and skid. So for lots of reasons, we prefer hand brakes. And you might think that young kids can't figure out how to use hand brakes, which is not the case. Um, my son learned how to use hand brakes at two and a half years old. And the benefit of learning to use hand brakes when you're young is that you're learning those braking skills you're gonna use for the rest of your life. Very few adults are riding bikes with coaster brakes. So you might as well learn how to use hand brakes when you're young. Uh, that said, not all hand brakes are created equal. So you really want to look for a bike that has easy to reach, easy to pull brake levers. And those are going to be found on the more expensive kids bikes, which is another reason to try to spend a little bit more on your child's bike. If you do really want a coaster brake and you decided that that's the right choice for your family, then we recommend just looking for a bike that has both a coaster and a handbrake. So they still get that experience of learning to use a handbrake and developing that eye-hand coordination, even while yeah, they have that coaster brake that you've decided is the safest thing for your child. Tip number seven is to buy the most expensive bike that your family can afford. Now I realize that this seems flippant and that not everybody can afford an expensive bike, in which case I highly recommend shopping for a good bike used. Um, we also on our website have some good budget bike brands that we've chosen if you want to go check that out. But at the end of the day, the more money you can spend on a kid's bike, the lighter it's going to be, the nicer the components you're going to have, the longer it's going to last, and the more enjoyable it's going to be to ride for your child. The other thing to keep in mind is when you buy a bike at Walmart, eventually it's probably going to end up in the trash. Not true of the high quality kids bikes that we recommend. You can often sell these bikes for nearly as much as you bought them for originally. Many of these brands have trade up programs that you can use as well, and you can hand them down to multiple children. So if you have an oldest child you're shopping for right now, and you know you're gonna have siblings down the line, it makes more sense to spend a little bit more for a nice bike up front that'll last through four kids than a cheap bike that you're gonna have to buy four times. Um, so that's our recommendation. Again, not trying to be flippant on price. I recognize that everybody has different budget situations and any bike is better than no bike. And my final bonus tip is just to do your research before you buy, which you're already doing by watching this video. But if you want to go ahead and head over to rascalrides.com, we actually have lots of kids bike reviews there and product guides and you'll be able to find comparison charts with things like weight and whether or not a bike has coaster brakes or hand brakes and a lot of the things that we talked about in this video you can help find the perfect bike for your child thanks for watching and we'll see you next time